They asked me, do you want to do a song with Macklemore? And I was like, yeah, I'll pencil that in. When I was in the third grade, I thought that I was gay, cause I could draw, my uncle was, and I kept my room straight. I told my mom, tears rushing down my face, she's like, Ben, you've loved girls since before pre-K. So I had about three hours to write it, and I was kind of freaking out. The song was the very pragmatic, rational side of the gay marriage debate, but it was missing this little bit of soul in the connection. I can't change, even if I try. The Grammy performance to me was this pinnacle moment. You know, 33 couples getting married, we performed at their weddings. It was like, my life has been training for this moment. And I don't think that I truly believed before that music could have that impact. I never believed that I could tangibly affect people that way. I grew up in a home with a lot of abuse and trauma. I was in the middle of a real manic phase. I'm clinically bipolar. I hadn't slept for about 72 hours, and I was up just on the computer, like going through a rabbit hole of YouTube, and I stumbled upon spoken word. Just that I want to live my darkest. I was so moved. I loved that they were swearing. It was vulnerable and emotional. If I hadn't stumbled upon spoken word poetry, I don't think that I would be alive. That was the night I felt saved. Music was an amazing form of catharsis, but it, it wasn't enough. I loved the idea that I could have a raw emotion and just say exactly how I felt without processing it or, or prettying it up as the way I did with music. I know girls who are trying to fit into the social norm like squeezing in a last year's prom dress. What propels me to continue to create is that hunger to affect people positively. On my new record, On Hot On My Sleeve, I wanted to be completely and authentically myself. I've got bipolar disorder. My shit's not in order. I'm over. I'm like, hi, I'm like a chubby, you know, bipolar lesbian. I've like all these stigmas that I used to feel really, really bad about. And it's really freeing to just be like, this is it, this is me. Yeah.